Dopamine, the neurochemical transmitter that makes you spend hours on TikTok, binge eat McDonald's, and waste your life watching Netflix. But what if you could regain control of your dopaminergic system to enter a zen-like flow state? The reason why most people don't see results from a dopamine detox is because they miss out on the science behind it. You can't detox from dopamine. Our bodies can't function without it. What you can do is resensitize yourself to dopamine. Let me explain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter. It's a chemical messenger in the brain that's associated with certain aspects of attention and focus. Throughout the day, we react to stimuli which trigger dopamine secretion. That dopamine hit is the reward we get from engaging in certain activities. Truth is, it's not the stimulation you need, but the dopamine that's secreted during that stimulation. However, when you've overstimulated your brain with activities such as social media, video games, junk food, and the like, you become desensitized to dopamine. When that happens, dopamine is still flowing, but there aren't many receptors available to receive it. The solution? Resensitize yourself to dopamine. By doing so, you'll build impulse control, which can help delay gratification. Just imagine for a sec what could happen to your productivity if you were as excited about starting a business or creating a product or starting your own YouTube channel as you were with scrolling through social media or banking your paycheck. This is what happens when you control your sensitivity to a reward, or dopamine. To calibrate your sensitivity to dopamine, you need to kick some of your habits to the curb. Prolonged streaming. This includes social scrolling, Netflix, and your long watch time hours. Basically, anything you're viewing constantly for more than three to five hours that gives you pleasure or constantly rewards you. These distractors need to be deleted from your phone and laptop, and then block them from your browser if possible. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't have to delete them. I can just not open the apps. I don't care how much willpower you think you have, our brains are wired to consume instant gratification. If you use any of the apps for work like I do, this might be a bit tricky, but I still suggest deleting those apps and logging in on your browser to get work done. I also suggest blocking pages or channels that bring you the most pleasure. Instant pleasure. This is anything that brings an instant dopamine hit. This includes porn, masturbation, and dating apps. Here's the thing, you don't even have to engage in any sexual activity for your brain to receive pleasure from it. Just pursuing the possibility of sex can cause your brain to release a boatload of dopamine, sometimes even more than the act itself. So things like swiping on Tinder or scrolling through Pornhub can feed your brain dopamine and cause you to do irrational things. So cut them out. Binge eat. Cut out anything you binge consume like alcohol, marijuana, and junk food. What we feed our bodies affects us in ways we can only imagine. So if you want to do the ultimate reset, you can't feed your body junk and expect it to function optimally. Substances like marijuana and alcohol hit quick. It's so easy to kick back with the boys and down beer into the early hours of the morning. Doing work or school projects certainly don't bring that kind of pleasure. Yet. Now that you've got that junk out of your life, let's discuss what you need to do to enter a flow state. This is bigger than getting 7-8 to eight hours of sleep a night. It's also about going to bed at a certain time and waking up at a certain time. When you don't get enough sleep, when you have an irregular sleep schedule, it can disrupt dopamine production and release. This leads to imbalances that bring about mood swings, decreased motivation, and difficulty experiencing pleasure from everyday activities. Diet. Once you've cut out junk food and alcohol, you need to feed your body healthy food. That means no sugar and no caffeine. Remember, the point of the detox is to regain control of your life. If you're getting dopamine hits from coffee, you're not exactly doing that, are you? Unhealthy food is not just ice cream and McDonald's. Frozen and canned foods are often unhealthy. So focus on cooking with fresh produce. Do this for at least two to three weeks. Then you can have a burger or a pizza on the go once or twice. Your goal is to build discipline while also rewarding your body. Self hours. These are activities that are good for you long term. It'll take some time to learn consistency, but when you commit, it can transform your life. I'm talking about exercise, reading, journaling, and meditation. Studies suggest that when we practice working towards our own self growth, our bodies react in a positive way. I suggest you start with reading books and meditation. A disciplined and patient mind is a strong mind. Setting goals. Don't just get up and do stuff. Set goals for the day. Map out what you want to achieve in a day and set times for when you want to achieve them. The best way to do this is to write down tasks with a pen in your notebook and read them aloud. When we do this, our cochlear nerve hears and registers the read. The optic nerve registers the task and the prefrontal cortex of the brain registers the need to finish the task. Take boring breaks. You take breaks and fill that time with social media. Your brain gets a huge dopamine hit. You go back to work, and your brain instantly sees work as boring, right? But if you take boring breaks like stretching or staring at the wall for 10 minutes, you're not getting dopamine hits, which starves your brain for something interesting. So when you go back to work, your brain gravitates to that activity and produces dopamine, which allows you to enter a flow state. Do one thing at a time. Multitasking rewires your brain. 
When you're focused on too many things at once, you're not actually focused on anything. But because your brain is now hyperactivity focused, doing one thing at a time feels wrong. But that's what's actually going to reset your brain. Focus on one task at a time. Set a timer for the task. Don't do anything else until you're done with that first task. This will help you enter a flow state where you're completely focused on the work at hand. Learning how to master dopamine isn't easy, but if you commit to these steps for a month, you'll find your zen-like flow state. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. In the meantime, check out the channel for more self-improvement tips.